we will see how we can end our meeting by six. Thank you for coming. You know, it's a bit tiresome, but you're still strong. Amen. Uh, it's always good to to work out a, a, a family unity. Uh, many at times uh, family meetings happen and family meeting happens uh, so that people become one and also so that uh, any family member that is has gone astray can be corrected and helped. There's power in unity. A great power. A very powerful power. I don't know if that word is correct. <laughs> Saying very powerful power. In chapter number 18, of the book of Matthew. The verse is also 18. As we move down. The Bible says, Very I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask it shall be done for them of my father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Now God is not where two and three have gathered. He's not in every meeting that more than two people have gathered. He's in a meeting that there is agreement according to verse 19. People have gathered and they have agreed concerning something. It says, if you gather, being two or three, and then you agree. Sometimes they say we, we disagree to agree. <laughs> Every meeting has, you know, all of us have diverse thoughts, reasonings, way of looking at things. And when we come together, that aspect of disagreeing to agree also there. The end result is agreeing even if you disagreed. Two people that agree on something and they choose to do together as far as God is concerned they are very powerful. God always desires that we keep the unity the unity of believers he delights so many scriptures speaks about it mungu anafurahia wanaomcha waki ungana kwa umoja ama wakishirikiana Ama wakiwa na ushirika. Ushirika is a fellowship like this. In oneness of mind. Now this is Jesus who's talking about this. He says when you say no to something, it will be said no. When you say yes, that yes becomes yes. So when you agree about something, uh, he says, it will be done for you. 
touching anything. I think that is very powerful. Concerning anything. So people can agree on so many things. You know, when we stay, like for example, when people meet as a family, they have family business, new family what, new family what. <laughs> yeah. They can agree concerning everybody in that family. That is what is going to happen. Yes, everybody is saying yes, it is going to happen. Now, if there is disagreement, even God is not there. Sometimes we assume, because we are gathering in church, and we are reading the word of God, and because we have met, God is there. It's not true. There has to be oneness of mind. Where there is oneness of mind, there will always be miracles, signs, and wonders. There will always be surprises. You know what surprise is? You, ask, you just get shocked that things have happened. And sometimes you don't even know. People kill impossibility through union of mind when their minds are. This, this meeting is purely about creating unity in the church. There's nothing much. Paul also says in chapter 4 of Ephesians, I therefore, the prison of the Lord, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called. Hmm? He says, you walk worthy of the call you've received. We have received a call. You are called, that's why you're here. There's a reason why you're here. And then he says, walk worthy of that call. God has called you. Vocation is a specific assignment to which you are called. Something specific that God expects of each one of us. Something to which we are called. And then it says, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering. Long suffering? What is long suffering? Is it suffering long? Is it suffering long? <laughs> what is long suffering? I know some of you are reading another version. What does your version say? Mine is saying suffer long. I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is suffering for a long time. God does not accept suffering. Let me let me just yeah, let me see in IV what it says. It says being patient. Patience. And then it says, bearing with or forbearing one another in love. Verse 3 says, enduring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Endeavoring. Hmm? And NIV says, make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. When people can stay together and bury their difference and continue irrespective of uh, whatever difference that is there, that is called maturity. Many of us come together from different backgrounds, yeah? Whether you're coming together in a house and you got married, whether you are coming to a church and all of us are coming from different background. When we rise above your issues and you still stick together, and that is called maturity. And the Bible says bury differences. When the Bible talks about with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, for bearing one another. In other words, every one of us carry a problem. <laughs> every one of us, there's a way we are. There's a way the other person is, there's a way you are. You know, sometimes you want to think that you're always on the right. Somebody, and the kukosea. Siju nini. Now, he's speaking to people who have existed like more than 1,000 years ago. And it's still because people, when they come together, 
there's always there are things that surfaces from people's life. Uh, the Bible expect us never to focus on minor things as far as God is concerned. Just try to stick together irrespective of whatever differences that are there. The devil has put enough problem in human spirit. Enough problems. Enough hatred. Hmm? Enough gossip. Enough but somebody must rise up above that. When you see people not sticking together. These days we have a uh, you know the word of God is not very popular. What is so popular is uh, uh, is ideas that are not of God. So that even marriages break. Hmm? People cannot do what the Bible says here. With the lowliness, in other words, with humility. Hmm? Carry each other. That's what the Bible says here. Make every effort to make peace. So to 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 keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. It says there's one body and one spirit even as you are calling one hope of your calling. One Lord, one family, one baptism, one God and Father of all. Now this is what should unite us. You're baptized into one body. It's called the body of Christ. It's also called the family of God. And God is the father of that. Whenever uh, parents are there, like especially fathers, and, and if sometimes I look, I, I, I know so many family meetings that happen so where their fathers are also there. When they're old, old men and old women, <laughs> you know, there's a way problem ends from people when they age and they want peace and they want unity. They have had enough of life and experiences. And when they meet some young people fighting, they are like, what is there to fight for now? Wanazema mali ambapo wazee wako mambo? Hayaribiki. Kwa nini? Because they have eaten enough of their pains. What you have, what you are experiencing now in fighting, they fought. They didn't see any reason of fighting. Hmm? Anything that we do. Hmm? <laughs> Sometimes you want to be selfish and you're like, yeah, they're just looking at you and they're like, hata sisi tumejaribu kufanya aije tusaidia. They say what an old man sees while sitting. A young man cannot. While he's standing and even. The, this, these old people have gone through life and have seen lots. Some of the experiences we are having, they've had. Uh, so if there is one baptism you are baptized to all of us who have been put in ma immersed in water we have come to one Lord mm -hmm. now if you consider these scriptures Paul is not just writing about unity here and he speaks to every church about unity in 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9 to 11. Although you can begin reading from above. If you just begin from reading from the beginning, he talks about it is one church but divided against different ministers. Maybe you are Apollo, Apollo unajua amesoma sana lakini hajajazi wana roho. Mimi nasema mimi ni wa Peter. Mwingine anasema mimi ni wa Petero. There's been strife among people. Terrible strife. And he tells them we are all laborers together with God. You are God's farm, husbandry. You are God's building. 
according to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder I have laid the foundation and another builds thereon and let every man take heed how he builds so Paul is saying uh, you don't need to have different perspective about one thing you don't need to divide your minds among the people that have been preaching to you. He says you need to have one mind. This is Paul speaking. This is Paul speaking. He's, he's, he's trying to see if you read every epistle which is also equal to every church there is this emphasis of unity unity among believers unity people should have we don't need to see this unity to speak about unity we need to preach unity we will always uh, create what we want by focusing at some specific things. There should not be somebody on the concern and your sister to answer on their unity. Unity has to be spoken throughout every now and then. Something has to be, it's like a seed we sow. Every teaching of the word of God that we do is a seed that uh, specifically does some work in a specific area. When you are specifically talking about healing, we are sowing the seed of healing in somebody's heart. When we are talking about wealth, we are sowing that seed. And that seed, as it grows up, it will produce more. So unity, unity, because of what is in man, uh, there will always be chances of disunity. Chances of disunity. Because of diversity, the difference of backgrounds, the difference of opinions, the difference of what you experienced and you went through. All these things. But somebody must mature. There's a family in the book of Acts which was specifically called to do some work. And Jesus gave them this responsibility in verse 8. Chapter 1. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and under the uttermost part of the earth. He's speaking to 180 people, sorry, 120 people led by 12 disciples. And he has called them from the earth and they, their responsibility is here. So, he says, wait for the promise of the father. And then as a family, there has to be some characteristic that are very visible with you. There should be something about you, each one of you, that characterizes everybody that is part of this family. I think you must have read enough. The Bible says in verse 9, I'm reading Acts chapter 1, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by him in white apparel, or white clothes, which also said, you men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall some some come in like manner as you have seen him go into heavens. I want you to look at verse 20. The Bible says, Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's walk. So a, day, a whole day they walked. I like what verse 14 says. They all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with and with his brethren, they continued 
with one accord in prayer. What are they waiting? The promise of the Father. It was, they were told, don't leave Jerusalem until the promise of the Father arrives in verse 4. And being assembled together with them, I commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he says, you have heard of me. That is the Holy Spirit. So for this promise of the Father to come, they have to stay in prayer. We began by reading chapter 18 of Matthew verse 18. If you stay, if you agree. Now, those ones are, it all talks about two people or three. But here are 120 people who have agreed that they are going to wait for the promise of the Father. And under leadership of Peter, they said we are staying in prayer. I feel like this year is the year of prayer. But I don't know why. <laughs> we need to develop our stamina in prayer. Yeah? I feel we need to do something a lot about prayer. Something about prayer. Yeah. When, you, when you give yourself to prayer, you give birth to something new. You give birth to something that is not on earth here and is only in heaven. Stay in prayer. Now, when, when everybody comes to pray together, I just discovered yesterday about when we were having a men's meeting. What if we just come and pray about different things and then we go, come and pray and we go, come and pray. Everybody pray. That's what we need to do. This aspect of sitting and waiting for people to come. Let them find us pray. And when they come in, let them pray. And let them pray for every person in that category. Honest, you need to have, I don't know, you need to have meetings and youths. To know number two per month. I've seen it is working. Men is working. The one of women is working. Uh, it's working, it's working. We need to see. I don't know kama ya watoto. What if you are now? Can they be taught? Because if each group pray together, how strong will that church be? Every group is serious in prayer. Our mama wa meongoza. So you let meeting get us the ilikotu siku moja tu wama ni. Huh? That Thursday of every month. Mini Kesha from 9 to, to 12. <laughs> they say we lead and others follow. <laughs> yeah. and, and we've been praying. Some men are praying. Women are praying. Youths are praying. Children are, are praying. So if each of these groups are praying and then also the whole church is also praying, ah, what will happen? The Bible says here that and being assembled together with them. No. Verse 14. They all continued with one accord in prayer, in supplication, with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Hmm. So all of them are praying people. Praying people will always create unity. People who pray are humble. People who pray are very humble. You cannot expose yourself to the presence of God and you remain proud and arrogant. It's not possible. There's a way the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the Holy Spirit functions in you. You naturally give, your way, give way to the word of God to function in you. There are things you will not struggle when you are praying type. Prayer brings grace. And grace will help you to live by the word of God. Prayer. 
So this church has to be a praying church where everybody prays. Everybody. The men in the house are praying. The women are praying. The youths are praying. The children are praying. Which other groups do we have? Different DBSs are praying. Is there prayer in different DBSs? Yes. Everybody praying for one person. You are praying, it's going around. The youths are praying. The women are praying. So look at that. And then the whole church is also praying. The effect of that church will be so powerful. Unity can easily be created. I realize that it becomes very hard for people to have oneness of mind when they are not praying together. It's not possible. Now we need to begin couples meeting. Amen. Couples also pray together. <laughs> it's possible. In other words, everywhere there is prayer together. These people pray together because of the, the, the assignment in verse 8. The assignment in verse 8. Before they do the assignment, then there has to be a promise they have to receive from the Father. The promise of the Holy Spirit. Now, in 10 days, the promise came down. Do you think the promise of God will easily be fulfilled for people not praying? You will wait for years. There are people who are expecting God to do for them something. And they are waiting and things are not happening. What you need is to come together and pray. <laughs> I'm saying what you need is to come together and and pray. If there is a meeting of believers, there should be prayer. That, in fact, any meeting should begin with prayer. Mimi hata naona hata DBS tukiingia tusipige story tunapiga story sana. Hey, explain everything that happened. It's not bad sometimes to talk. Eh? I am in several DBSs and I know how it all begins. Kule kujuliana hali. If I simply say, how are you? And then I go into prayer, what do you think? We turn that house into a church. <laughs> we'll turn that environment to something else. There are churches that try to do kesha. And you begin hearing stones raining on the, on the, on the roof. We have tried several to, to do kesha where? In living faith. And the here. Just like after 30 minutes, what to zingira up? Watch up to pigia kelele. Watch up to pigia. Members wana pigia simu kutoka. Members wana wakuji kesha wana kuja wana sema. Eh? Polisi wana kuja. Siju nini? Hapa tu kiyomba. No stone. Kesha tu naomba the whole night. Machache zingine wakijaribu tu. Stone. There are things we have neutralized by praying in this area. The, the, this next home here, the first time we are building here, the owner of this place, this, the guy who is living the next compound, he fought me a lot. He came and me shut. <laughs> so I am like, Watu wote wanjia wakatu mwagikia. Huyu pastor. In just the first few days when we were coming in, we were to build these things. The guy was just something else. Amekunja, mwataka tuchapani, tupigane sasa. So I'm just watching him. Last Sunday, last Sunday I was just moving out. And he told me, you know, all my kids have converted and when they come to us, they tell us a lot. Jilo is telling us this, the other one is saying, 
until you have decided to get born again, all of us. So that family has converted. I don't know what he saw. I don't know what he saw. So they go to church also. And uh, for me, I, I'm just, just calm and cool. <laughs> and this guy has been observing for the last three years. I don't know what he saw. Until he has turned around and he felt like. So we are going to walk there and see how to help them stand out. It's, it's the guy who leased us this land. He told me, I am hearing that my brother is saved. Amen. He says, now, at least I can see we have reaped what benefit. That these ones are. Hmm? You know, these people watch. Non-believers watch us, how we talk, how we behave, how we... They believe that this church has a very serious sponsor. <laughs> They've been sending people here, and I send them to that duka. Onataka maziwa na bread, wenda uchukwe. There's a time they came here so many. And they're just watching. Even him, there's a time he asked me some money, Pastor. Just give it. Maybe they're watching what is happening. And they're feeling like we can easily uh, capture the environment and people in the area when our prayer increases. So the, the major talk of this meeting is prayer brings unity. Prayer does what? It's bring unity. When two of you agree, even if you don't agree, come and pray together, you will agree. <laughs> Something will happen to you. <laughs> Something will happen in the environment. And you will put down your ideas that is again is the other guy or the other person. And you will create a kind of unity. Every time you pray and you are in agreement with some people, your heart is together and you want to accomplish anything. You will achieve things that humanly speaking is not possible. You'll access what you can hardly have if that unity is not there. The things God will do. In chapter number two, they continued with the same unity of prayer. I'm saying in chapter number two, now, the, the 120 that were together were in unity. The 120. This is a family. And their responsibility is to take the gospel what Jesus gave to them, to the environment and to people around. And what is known with them is prayer, sharing of the word of God, giving, you're going to see. So when other people came into their midst, verse 41, chapter 2, the Bible says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. The unity in their midst attract so many people to them. I'm saying the unity in their midst was so magnetic, attracting. Jesus said in chapter 13 of the book of John, verses 34, love one another as I have loved you. Not love one another as you love yourself. That one is Old Testament. Love one another as I have loved you. If you don't love yourself, you don't also love somebody else. That's the problem now. You're told love one another. 
love your neighbor as you love your that one is very canon <laughs> and that is of the law what if you hate yourself and you are killing yourself you are committing suicide you also kill others <laughs> you don't even love for each other for he says love one another as I have loved you chapter 5 of Romans verse 8 while we were yet sinners God loved in other words you don't have any option of not loving whoever you don't have to tell us that I, have, I can get nothing from that person that's why no love gives itself to somebody it does not expect mm -hmm. Love gives. When you are a type that is waiting something from somebody, there is not love. That is called selfishness. And the reason as to why you complain is because you, didn't give, you are not given something. You are selfish. And selfishness will always spoil a relationship. Sindio? Najua kunifanyia hii you begin complaining. <laughs> Before you complain, just think of what will I give. And the problem will end right there. And then he says, let the world know that in chapter, in verse 35. Let the world know that you are my disciples because of the love that you have for one another. That's what he says. Let the world know. There is no love in the world. Even among Muslims, there is no love. No love at all. It's only that they have some common thing to achieve together. Every mosque is fighting with other mosques. Every mosque. But you people don't hear that. The lawyer who gives you your case is going to be a lawyer. He is a And then you look at them, you think that lakini yetu ni public kila mtu anajua. Mkiko sana. Hata inaendanga kwa kwa TV. Na inaonekana. Yao kuna vile wana wana ficha. And the truth is you can't have love if God is not there. The Bible says God is love. You don't know God, how can you? One of the powerful things that can win the heart of anybody is something called love. And the more people stay together and learn the word of God together, the more they disregard the faults of each other. The more you don't pray, the more you see the fault of everybody around. Because you walk by what you see with your sight. Nakatu unangale vile mtu anabihevi. Unajijazia. Unasoma vitu. This church, because the, uh, the 120 are together in oneness, they have created that bond between themselves. So what happened when the, the 3,000 were added? They have a culture of unity. A culture of loyalty to the leadership. The culture of reading the word of God daily. The culture of praying daily. So when the 3,000 came, what happened? And they continued steadfastly. Verse 42. In the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayers. In other words, this thing was happening with the 120. 
So when the when, when the 3000 came, they were just assimilated into the system. Walingizwa hmm? to a system. Is that the right word? <laughs> so if there is prayer happening, just people just sunk in. If there is Bible study happening, people sunk in. If you can easily manage a, go, a big number of people if you sink them in prayer. I have discovered it is very hard to deal with people who they come to church. Very hard. They will not even listen to you. They will always see how they are always right and the other person is wrong. When you choose to stay in a place of prayer, God will lift your eyes off you and your eyes will be looking at God. Even when you know that you're making mistakes, you easily accept. Because when you come into his presence, uh, you, Isaiah came into his presence in chapter number six and he began screaming, Isaiah, I am a man of a defiled lips. I don't even, you know, he was, heaven opened and he saw himself where God is. The angels, the seraphims, the angels, the, the environment is just totally different. So he looks at himself. Whenever you expose yourself to prayer, you see your inadequacies and you ask God to help you. When you don't pray, you are always right and you don't need any help. You don't need any help. In fact, even if you are told what you are doing is very wrong and you know, you deny Hadarani. Are there people like that? Paka watu wameka hapa moja na shanga tutafanya aje. Hei ajioni? Sisi tunaona? That is why it is good to create a culture of prayer. If unity has to happen. The Bible says, and fear came upon every soul and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. Nobody said this belongs to me. This belongs to me. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continuing daily with the one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Everywhere, oneness of mind. Singleness of heart. And what is creating this oneness? The prayer that is happening every day. The teaching that is happening every day. And the mature leader that is in charge of that house. Who's always leading prayer. Who's always teaching. That's what you see there. The newcomers that came in, they just fit in the system. And all others submit to the... The Bible says, continuing daily in one accord in the temple, breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And they and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. So the 2,000 has, 3,000 has already been added. But then still you see more people are still coming in. The way they stay together naturally attracts people to them. If this church we choose to pray together in all these different groups. You don't struggle to bring people in. There's a time I was in a specific church and somebody just came in and he saw chaos in the church. I see that guy every day here on this road. As we are beginning Kiborana service, I will I have to reach out to him. Aliokoka tu kama leo, akaleto kanisa. Nakaka tu wiki mbili. Yo kati kanisa, inakaa kama field ya vita. 
hata wewe ukikuja ndani kila mtu anataka kutoroka <laughs> sasa eh hey, akaangalia akasema si hata afadhali uko watu uko na amani kuliko inside and he left he has already stopped eating mira and doing but now he decided to go back it, it's not a good place to be as a church when some misunderstanding is happening in the church it's that's why some of these things we 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 bring it to an end through prayer the atmosphere of the house has to be uh, charged with prayer so that anything that is not of god can die whatever we have carried and we come in chochote tumebeba tumekuja nazo ambacho si ya kiungu eh when we come in prayer we can hit it there's something about praying in tongues which is very powerful chapter 4 verse 32 the bible says you can read from verse 23 apostles prayer for boldness now paul peter was told and john never speak in the name of jesus just before verse 23 and even peter could tell him they, they, were, they called this big man men they, they called it san henry these leaders of of jews the one that are cause fear in people when they arrive ukiona tu wao unaanza kusink these people came and they told peter and john don't speak in the name of jesus they beat him both of them and then they said don't speak now the only problem they have is this lame man who has been 40 years old that everybody knows in town may there be somebody be, uh, may somebody be healed in this crusade in the name of Jesus and deniable miracle that hits the city and you see people coming to Jesus this this meeting that you are expecting i am i'm just praying i'm praying that things that has never happened in marsabi town to happen and it is possible one person just sees ah he's healed then i'm coming to church there's something we need to activate from our inside so when they were told don't speak any more in the name of jesus so the whole church came together that is chapter number 4 verse 23 and being let go they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them and when they heard that they lifted up their voice to god with one accord and said lord thou art god which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in it who is by the mouth of thy servant who by the mouth of your servant david has said why did the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things 26 the kings of the earth should st- earth stood up and the rulers were gathered together against the lord and against this christ for over truth against thy holy child jesus whom thou hast anointed both herod and pontius pilate with the gentiles and the people of israel were gathered together for to do whatsoever they they i hand and i counsel determined before to be done and now lord behold their threatenings grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word by stretching forth thy hand to to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child jesus ah do we pray something like this they were told not to speak about jesus they're saying before the world was created you determined that jesus is coming and is going to save the world but these rulers of this world are against they are coming against what you are saying give us boldness and multiply more miracles amen ah, this is powerful says multiply miracles if they now if you see the answer to this prayer in chapter 5 to a point where their their shadows begin healing people not even them now god can do anything when people gather in oneness and do what pray i like the way they spoke here the bible says with one 
accord they prayed. And they said, grant us. And then verse 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken when they, where they assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they spake the word of God with boldness. I like verse 32. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. One mind and one heart. The Bible says. They cultured themselves into this singleness of heart and mind. They conditioned themselves in the singleness of mind by staying in a prayer and continuously hearing the word of and miracles, signs and wonders became the order of the day. One reason as to why the church does not access miracle today is why? No singleness of why is there no healing in the church? Hmm? Where there is no unity, there is God, no God. Even if you are reading the Bible. Sikuna wale wanapanda pulpit wanatukana watu. Wacha ni tengeneze bomb. You know not what bomb is. Wacha ni mundie tu. And I release ni hit him. Ni gonge ya nguki. Na metumia neno. Na tunatarajia kupata ni. Tunatarajia kupata. Miujiza. Kwa hiyo umekuja kupokea kutoka kwa mungu. Kumbe mtu ameunda bomb ya kukuachilia. Pa! <laughs> and will you expect miracle to happen in such a meeting? Not really. Not really. The, the heart of the person preaching the word of God matters before they bring the word. If the healing is in their heart, healing will flow to people. Diana came. Is it on Friday? Yes, Friday. And the whole night she couldn't sleep. In morning devotion, she, I even looked at her the way she is. Kuna vile moyo inakuwa hata then is also was also there. Pastor Jana was close to Jala. At a size, you know, people have left, and she is still sitting. Friday morning, and she's like, and then I just laid my hand on her. Die in Jesus' name. Instantly, she was healed. I'm saying, instantly. She didn't know that she's going to job that day. So when I called her later, Pastor Yokitu Iliondoka immediately. Hey, we are coming from somewhere. <laughs> Where no sickness can. It's possible. Anybody to be healed if the atmosphere is charged with prayer. When you come to a man of God who is charged and whose heart is full of the word of God, you only get strengthened, built up, edified, healed, encouraged. That's the atmosphere. It's a small girl that after we finished the meeting, she came and said, she's not here. Oh, Pastor, she's from SK, but she comes in. Don't you kill a mara uki fundisha kuna bile ni na pata nguvu. And she's just small. Uniform two, or uniform three. I think she's classmate. Waelema. When you go past, you can get. Kuna vile kitu inafanyika. Amen. That there should be healing. Healing flows. Sickness becomes illegal where people live together in unity. Even in the house. Pastor Rogers, his wife, and all his kids. When I went to preach last year in. Kamega, I was shocked. Even their kids sit there. When prayer altar is called, all of them come there, even the young one. And I chase, I chase, and I can be altar call. 
And everybody, hata yeye anakuja anasimama hapa. And then also the daughter stands there. In that house nobody falls sick even those small ones. In that house. They have trained those girls like the girl. There's a time when she feels sick, she's holy ghost fire. Break this thing. A small child. 6 years. I release the fire of the Holy Spirit. So, a small child. Hey, I'm like, the August meeting might be an annual meeting. I want somebody to come for me to come again. And just go for yourself and see things there. <laughs> It's a small church beginning as a family. Very powerful. There's a way they have soaked people into the word of God. Even the song they sing, Swana Tunga Tu Yao. Si Tu Yao Naimba Yao Tu Yengine. And they sing according to There's something I liked about that family. There's something I liked about that family. Amen. Yeah, I think I don't want to speak much. Might be some point has gone home. Something must have come to us. Father, we are thankful in the name of Jesus. You didn't gather us in this place. Just to make jokes. We want to rise up as a family. The family that are called in your holy name. And we want to stay in singleness of heart. With one accord. We are seeing what you said. If two of you agree. These people agreed and prayed together. When they wanted miracles it happened anything they desired everybody accessed lord we want to raise a family of this kind with the unique and distinct habit and characters that reflect christ in all that we do people that walk in the power of the holy ghost people that experience miracles signs and wonders people that are strangers to failure strangers to sickness and disease strangers to people things that are disturbing people in the world but people that are always overcomers them that succeed daily the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light them that shine more and more every day of their life them that reveal your name in the city we are in Let Marsabit know because of divine life sanctuary something is happening in Marsabit in the name of Jesus because of this family of the book of acts things that never happened in the synagogues all over began happening the lame walking every manner of possessed people getting healed let that be the story that will come out of this house in the name of Jesus we pray for grace I mean pray for grace we pray for grace so that all groups that we have can pray for each other we speak that there will be no words that will come out of one member to another that can cause any problem in Jesus name that anybody who speaking to the neighbor or to them to the other brother or sister in the house they are building each other they are praying for each other they are thinking good towards each other that's what i pray lord jesus everyone under this roof that associated with us that lord you load them with good things for each other building this unity in men fellowship in women fellowship even among the children we want to speak that our children will learn to pray in the name of jesus Why can they just move around like we are doing when we pray and they pray? Yes, it's possible. Youth praying together. Every DBS people praying together. May this prayer become so strong to a point it will solve all issues of everybody in the church. For the glory of your name. Lord, I honor you. I give you praise in Jesus name. give you opportunity to give in Jesus name masokala
Lemo de Bosicrade. Thank you, Lord. Hey, sorry. Thank you, Lord. We pray that as we give, this family is associated with financial abundance and excellence in the name of Jesus. We tap into this grace of giving and receiving. And we are not going to talk about lack any day of our life. The Bible says, and God is able to cause all grace abound towards you. So that you people always having all sufficiency in all things may be fruitful for every good work. We bless you. This week is blessed. As we are going out, we are blessed in the name of Jesus. As we come in our houses, we are blessed. Everything we do is blessed in the name of Jesus. The whole week is blessed. From tomorrow as we move out to our works, we have divine provision. We access divine protection. We have access to opportunities and new doors in the name that is above every name. Father, these people in this house cannot, shall not be identified with failures, sickness, and diseases. Defeat is not our portion. But with success, with divine health, with progress, with prosperity and development in the name of Jesus that will cause many others to flock back into your house. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Amen. Wow. I wish you a blessed week ahead in Jesus' name.